Welcome, today I am with Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 3 5G and I'll show you 5 tips. So the first one that just blew my mind is the director's view. So when you open the camera, take a look, we have to go for the more modes and here we can find these cool features. So when you grab our smartphone and open this feature in the camera and then here hit uh, the video uh, by tapping on the shutter, we can uh, change the preview as you can see between three cameras that we have here and this place so we can go oh let me just show you one more time so we can switch between the telephoto wide angle and ultra wide angle uh, even when we are recording the video and also here we got the preview of of the cameras as you can see it appears in this place so that's a very great option that definitely will be useful for some of you and take a look how video looks uh, from that mode for sure it's it looks like that without that preview of the cameras so that's a great feature the another option that we can use in this uh, phone is that we can customize the side keys so when you go for the settings and then when you scroll down until we find the advanced features we can find the side key in this place and take a look uh, normally you have to set up i mean you got the Bixby on the power key, so when you click and hold the power key, we are going to wake Bixby. To change it, for sure, just go for the simple power off menu. But uh, what is the most interesting thing is right here, the double press. Of course, we have to turn it on. And then we can link application with that gesture. So for example, if you want to quickly open, for example, Google Maps, you can make it by double pressing power key right now. As you can see, there we have the Google Map. You can link here any application that you want, calendar, Chrome, every application that you have on, sm on the smartphone, even games like Pokemon Go, Sky Children of the Light or TFT Mobile. So there's the second option. Uh, we are going uh, for the next one. Now we can check how many times we open each app. So when we go for the settings and find digital volume and the parental controls, we have to go here and as you can see, and we can find the settings application and when you scroll down we can find we can find how many times you open it that up so as you can see today settings were open at 56 times and it's 54 more than yesterday here we got the hours you can also check other days by switching right here and for sure you can also check other apps when you tap right here you got other apps that you can check for example you can also show um, the times open it on the play store so as you can see the play store was open it uh, four times and two more than yesterday and the uh, next option that we can use in this smartphone is wireless printing so uh, we have to go for the connections and then tap on the more connection settings and go for the printing as you can see in most cases we can use the default print service but it's not working always so we have to go for the download plugin from the play store and for example we can use the hp print service for sure you have to download the service from company of your printer so in this case i'm going to use the hp because that's the printer that we can find in our office okay so right now we can open that plugin we have to accept all of this data and right now we can simply click to install HP Smart. Let's make it from the Play Store also. Right now we can open that application and also we have to accept all this stuff. Okay, and right now when you want to print picture, let's go for the gallery. For example, I would like to print this one and we have to click here, then tap print. And as you can see, right now we are able to make it. So when you click here, we can also change some kind of the stuff, the settings of the picture. And here we can save to PDF or use our printer. And then just click on this button on the right bottom, on the right upper corner 
to print that picture straight from our smartphone. And also I will show you the last option that you can use in the smartphone. So there we have the camera. And if you want to take photo, uh, you can quickly change the brightness level by, by tapping on the screen and then moving the sun icon on the left or the right side. So we can increase or decrease brightness level. And you can also make the same in the video. So honestly, you don't have to use the promote because this settings you can also use here. So as you can see, that's all. If you find this video helpful, remember to leave a like, comment and subscribe.